<laughs> oh, it feels good to be back on this bike. All right, guys, we are back. It's the Suron Beast build. We made some changes. I know I'm introing the video right now, but I'm actually halfway through my ride. And I gotta say, this bike is awesome. So let's run through the specs of what we changed on it and why we changed it. Let's get into it. Hopefully you've been watching the full video series on this bike. But just to quickly recap, we started out with a bone stock Suron Light BX. Shock bikes provided a bunch of parts, including a BAC 8000 controller with the 15 kilowatt tune and an APT display. An EBMX 72 volt 57 amp hour battery with the seat extenders. An EBMX swing arm. A YSS shock with the updated linkage and triangle. Foot pegs with peg brace. 58 tooth sprocket. And a pro bash plate. Dirty Bike provided the Megura throttle. Charge Cycle Works sent us their tuned Fast Ace fork. And Woody's Wheel Works laced us up an Excel 1619 wheel combo. Everything on there was working great, but I wanted to make some adjustments to balance the bike out for my riding style. The original fork that Charge Cycle Works hooked us up with is the Fast Ace fork with a 50 pound spring and their plush tune. The fork felt buttery smooth in the smaller chop, but I was bottoming the fork out on bigger hits, so we switched to their aggressive valving and went with a stiffer 60 pound spring. I started out with a 1619 wheel combo from Woody's Wheel Works, but because the EBMX shock and swing arm combo raises the rear of this bike a little bit, I felt like it was too low and pitched forward in the front. So we swapped over my 1821 wheel set from the XX build. To raise the front even more, we swapped over the stock bars for Pro Taper 3 inch rise bars and an EBMX riser stem. I love the capacity of the big 72 volt 57 amp hour battery, but I wanted to ditch the seat risers. So we swapped it out for the shorter EBMX 72 volt 42 amp hour battery which allows us to run this bigger battery without the seat risers. Last but not least, the adjustable kickstand helps compensate for the bike's new, higher ride height. After all was complete, with the bike sitting the way that it is, we're looking at a total build price of $13,140, bike included. Also, everyone wanted to know what the final weight of this bike was. So the way that it's sitting right now, we are at 155 pounds with the battery. Now that you've got the details, let's go see how it rides. All right, a little high speed whoop run. <laughs> I'm in mode three right now, and this thing rips, even in the sand in mode three. Get on some single track here. So honestly, all the changes that we just did make such a big difference on this bike. It's hard to know what to talk about first because I'm feeling everything kind of at once here. But, man. 1821, huge difference. The new tune on this fork is a huge difference. Taking the seat extenders off and running the 42 amp hour, huge difference. I'm uh, feeling like this bike is really dialed. I'm having a hard time talking about it just because I'm having so much fun. I don't even know what to say. Oh man. Might be the most fun I've had on a Suron. Alright, but I know you want to hear what I have to say about it, so 
Let's talk about it. 1821 feels great. I think at least for this build, knowing that the rear of this bike is a little bit higher, the amount of power that it's putting out, and all those things into account, I just think that this bike begs for the 1821. That's my personal preference, but it just feels appropriate to me on this bike. <laughs> so that's a big upgrade. The other thing is this fork feels so much better. Not that it felt bad, but that plush tune with the 50 pound spring was not enough on this bike, especially for this type of riding. I'm back down in Florida and we're riding some whooped out stuff here. So definitely some harder hits. And I've got the 60 or 65 pound spring. I can't remember which it is off the top of my head, but uh, it's running that and the aggressive tune from Charge Cycle Works. And that is a really nice combo, especially for what I'm running right now down here. Pretty impressive what you can get out of such an affordable fork. I feel like the bike feels way more balanced right now. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this fork. Another big one to point out is the battery. I love the 57 amp hour battery for the amount of range that you can get, but I don't really need it for this bike. That's not really what I designed this bike for to be a long range bike. It's gonna be kind of a faster, maybe kind of race bike. And uh, the 42 amp hour battery is great and you don't have to run the seat extender. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm still getting all the power that I was with the 57 amp hour battery, but now I'm not running the seat extenders. And I just like the way that that feels. God, this bike is too fun right now. I'm just running in power mode three, by the way. It's amazing power that this thing's putting out. And now I'm like really getting all the benefits of that bigger swing arm and the YSS shock. I don't feel like I was reaching its kind of full potential because the bike felt like it was too high in the rear, too low in the front. We've definitely fixed that thanks to the 21 inch front wheel and the higher bars and the bar risers. I do think that I went a little too tall with the bars um, I think the bar riser is great, but I should be running maybe the Pro Taper two inch or one inch rise bars on it instead of the three inch. For me personally, I don't love super high bars. I know a lot of you do, so if you do like high bars, this is honestly probably going to work out really good for you. But I like some lower bars, and uh, yeah, I think. I might have gone a little too overkill, kind of gone in the wrong direction. It was way too low before, and now it's sitting a little too high for me. But I know that that's mostly bars. These bike builds are never done, let's be honest. Still gonna make a few changes. 
but now we're getting into like the really minuscule changes. I feel like we've got all the big ones taken care of. This bike is feeling really good now. Just some tire changes, some bar position changes, and a few things like that, but man, I couldn't be happier with this thing. And that brings up the point. The price of this thing is no small amount of money, that's for sure, especially for a Suron. But I'm telling you, I have not had this much fun on a Suron before. And I've ridden quite a few of them. Really liking the way that this thing is set up right now. So is it worth it? That's subjective to who you are, but you can see the smile under my helmet right now. <laughs> I'm not thinking about how much money this thing costs, that's for sure. I'm thinking about how much fun I'm having. <laughs> oh man. What a bike. All right, well, the video wouldn't be complete until we put this bike in a mode five. I've been riding it in mode three the whole time. <laughs> and hit some big whoops here. Let's get out into some open sand here. <laughs> it's about the only place you can ride mode five without it scaring the crap out of you. <laughs> Oh, this bike feels so good, man. <laughs> All right, sir on beast build, you guys. I am in love with this bike right now, especially for down here where I'm riding. I'm in Florida at Kroom. A lot of you are familiar with this place, but Man, I'm a huge fan of this bike right now. I feel like we made some awesome changes. There's a couple little tweaks that I'd like to do. These things are never done. <laughs> it always takes time to really dial it in, but all the big pieces are in place and I'm loving this thing right now. So uh, just to recap, what we did was the 18 in the rear, 21 in the front. Uh, we changed the Charge Cycle Works Fast Ace Fork from the plush tune with a 50 pound spring to the aggressive tune with a 60 pound spring. We put the 72 volt, 42 amp hour battery in this bike and took the seat extenders off, which uh, allows the bike to sit a little bit lower. We put the bar risers, taller bars. I think that's it. Maybe I'm drawing a blank, but like those are all the things that we needed to do. And this bike is running awesome right now. But yeah, if you have any questions on these parts, let me know. There's a link in the description where you can find all the parts. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you dig it.